welcome to Abstract Boss. Today is the very first week of challenges in August and it is silver. So I am going to redo an old geode of mine. I've already sanded it down and gotten all the drips off and leveled out my surface and I am going to pour a beautiful black and silver geode. So come along for my journey and if you have something silver of your own to submit, then head on over to the Facebook group in the description below. All right, let's get started. Today I'm gonna to be working with the Faux Rizzle Artist Resin. This is by Countertop Epoxy. And I am doing just two colors. So I'm working with black and silvers. I have the silver epoxy pigment from Colorberry, and then the black is the base coat from Countertop Epoxy. I also have some assorted glitters that I'll be working with. I have found these at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, which is now closed, so I <laughs> try not to do any recommendations there anymore. Um, and also just any of your local craft stores that you could find. But I do get a lot on Amazon as well, so if you wanna shop through my Amazon link, that is located in the description below. The one thing I like about working with just two colors is it does make things a lot easier when it comes to dividing out the resin and pouring the resin onto the surface. Since I'm just working with black and silver, the majority of this is black, and so I went ahead and just mixed all that up, and I only had to set aside just a tiny bit for my silver. So I mixed all this up with black and layered that out, and then utilized my glove hand to put the black epoxy on the sides as well because with the wood slices you're really going to struggle with that because wherever you see the wood sort of comes in onto the plank that's where it really pulls down and then it doesn't get onto the other parts of the sides so you really want to make sure that you're touching the epoxy with your glove to the entire side using just a popsicle stick is not really going to work out for this so you want to make sure hands-on with it all the way. Now that I'm done spreading out the black, I found my mask finally, so I put that back on and I am just going to lay out the silver in a nice circle and I'm gonna use the heat gun to blow it outwards. This I'm actually using the silver pinata ink first. This I think gives the greatest effects when blowing it out with the heat gun. Uh, versus the other silver. I do enjoy the pastes, but I just, I don't know, I'm kind of prone to that alcohol ink on top of resin. I really think that it adds a lot. And you can see that just from blowing it out, the awesome cells that formed right along the edges there. Now, because it did blow it out so much though, I did wanna bring some of that black into the middle. And then here's where I'm gonna build out my core of my geode. So I'm going to layer in some of the glitters. I'm gonna layer in the rocks that I have. I'm gonna layer all that in there after I'm done forming everything. So here is the silver pigment paste from Colorberry and I'm just creating a line so I know where I wanna lay all my glitters. These are silver flakes. I'm pretty sure that I got these ones from Walmart. Um, if not Walmart, then it was Hobby Lobby.
The fine silver glitter that I used definitely was from AC Moore, but now I get it from Amazon. So that I do have in my description. Now these glass glitter flakes I got from Michaels. I get them over in the glitter section next to the alcohol inks and I am a huge fan of these. I think they add so much for a flat texture. Now I don't mean like flat as in you're not going to be able to feel them once the resin cures. You'll still be able to feel them but I just mean they're not super chunky and so when you're going for that super elegant style, these are definitely the way to go. And that's all I did. I just wanted to add those to the middle and then bring them out into the outside just to bring enough sparkle <laughs> onto the outside part um, to kind of tie in that core. And that was pretty much it. I just kind of mess around with it. I add a little bit more black in some of the areas to kind of hide some of the glitter that fell or um, some of the pigment paste that sort of blew out and I watched it very closely. If you notice, I did have to level it in the middle because I think something's wrong with my leveler but um, everything was running down and I'm fine with that because it looks super cool but it's not moving now so everything should be fine and I just keep adding in more and more resin until I'm happy with the thickness of the black. And that's it. Don't forget to head on over to the Facebook group to submit your silver artworks for the August art competitions. And let me know what you thought of this particular project in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you guys don't miss any of my future competition videos or just any of my awesome tutorials. I'll catch you guys next time.